as me the next question that na ki uh, what we expecting in the recipe it should be feasible video make, mm. making should be done ani video should be accepted ha ajun kay point asel ki sang tumhi mano tumhi mano ajun nahi dakhta tumhi launch kaise bhi mil jaye ah tani nahi question nahi hai लॉस्ट हवर्ड आहे तो बघूया फॉरगॉटन यस यू नो लॉस्ट इट लॉस्ट फॉरगॉटन फॉरगॉटन हो 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 अट्रॅक्टिव्ह हाय गौरी कॅन यू हिअर मी Gauri unmute yourself please yes sir Gauri can you unmute yourself please Good morning everyone Good morning ma'am Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Students, can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gauri, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can. Wonderful. Um, so we'll start in a couple of minutes. We'll just have some more participants coming in. Uh, we have a little internet connectivity issue today, so I'm logging in uh, through uh, Chavi Sahai's computer. Has registry also logged in? No, sir. She is not yet. Is she in the same room as you are? Yes, sir. She is in. 
Kamil sir, I might have to keep my camera off because the net will go down again. Just when you're introducing yourself, you can switch it on and then you can switch it off. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Sir. Yeah, thanks. All right, so uh, let's begin. Good morning, everyone. A very, very warm welcome to day four of your orientation. As I keep reiterating that we would have loved to have you here in person but uh, we are going to make do with whatever we conditions we are in and finally when you do uh, come in we will meet you once again all right in person so uh, today it gives me great pleasure to introduce uh, dr gauri shah uh, dr gauri shah is a, an associate mm -hmm. professor and she heads the food production department the uh, big kitchen team that we have and uh, she's going to share with you, I'm going to request her to share with you all her uh, work experience, her stint in entrepreneurship and her passion for cooking and then follow it with her presentation. So uh, without much ado, I'm going to hand over to Dr. Gauri Shah and uh, uh, ask her to take you through the next 30 minutes. Yeah, Over to you, Gauri. Thank you, sir. Good morning, everybody. I welcome all of you to AISSMS family. I am uh, HOD Food Production. I am leading the food production team in AISSMS for the last three years. I have done my education from MSI HMCT Pune. I passed out in uh, 2001 batch. And then I had my own uh, small cafe in a small city called Dombivli in Mumbai. I was running it for three years. And then when I shifted to Pune, before that, uh, before shifting to Pune, I used to teach in Rizvi College of Hotel Management, Mumbai. I got married, I shifted to Pune, and then I started teaching here in AIS SMS. So since 2006, I am associated with the uh, ASSMS, part of the family of ASSMS. We uh, at ASSMS take a lot of care of the students. At the same time, every one of us in the department is uh, very passionate about learning new things, doing new things. We usually participate in almost all co competitions happen all around India in culinary. Last year before pandemic, we participated approximately 12 culinary competitions, state level, national. And uh, we won almost in all uh, 10 competitions, one or more prizes. I also train students for competitions for the last 10 years. Uh, Fusion Nouvelle and Indian cooking is my uh, forte. I take currently, I am teaching specialization food production to third year VHMCT students. Because it's the beginning of your journey in the hospitality, I think you all are getting acquainted to all uh, core subjects. It's already done for accommodation. Today is the time for production and uh, f &B. So this is the brief description about myself. Uh, at ASSMS, we are a total 10 faculty members in the department. I will be introducing uh, all of them in person when you join the college. 
and right now i have a picture in my presentation introduced to all of you so i would like to begin with a small clip before uh, my presentation let me just um, share the screen Can you all see the video? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Vous forcez un, un légèrement. Et là, vous creusez un petit peu et vous faites glisser. Le pain à la farine de sarrasin, un pain au blé de soissons qui est broyé à la meule de pierre. Euh, nous retrouvons le pain au blé truffier que vous avez goûté en, en premier temps. La passion. Vous avez également fait les framboises de l'arrière-pays. récipient qui est le ballon, ensuite nous avons la tulipe qui est euh, le contenant, donc la mouture de café qui est moulue auparavant, donc vraiment juste avant le, le service, de façon à conserver un maximum de saveur. Et le principe de la boîte de pression, donc l'eau monte en, en, en pression. Et là nous sommes sur une origine du euh, café de la hausse, donc euh, le, le café du chef. What you saw was a, a simple presentation about a novel uh, ways of food plating and uh, food combinations done in one big hotel in France. If you have heard of the place uh, which is uh, down close to Nice. Okay, now we will see what food production is all about. Anyone here who's done MCVC before? Anyone who's done MCVC before? Yes, ma'am. No. What have you done in MCVC? Ma'am, they uh, taught us the different kinds of um, types of hotels, the motels and... Uh, so you've done food cream? No, no. Bakery? No, ma'am. 
ஒரு <laughs> celebrity chefs doing different creations on instagram and facebooks and i'm sure you all get uh, very much inspired by their work and inspired by their uh, creations so basically who is a chef a chef is a trained professional who cook and he is also a tradesman who is proficient in all aspects of food preparation can you all see and hear what i'm saying yes yes yes, yes ma'am yes ma'am after focusing on a particular yes, cuisine ma'am. the word chef yes, is derived from the term chef de cuisine the director of the head kitchen see i always say everybody can cook but any everybody is not called a chef only a person who has a professional touch in its creation is called a chef 
we don't usually call a chef who's cooking at the roadside cafes he must be cooking excellent food which we like to eat he must be serving excellent food which we like to eat but he cannot be calling himself a chef so a chef needs to have a professional touch and he needs to know he also supposed to understand how to sell his own creations the food industry is a complex global collective of diverse businesses uh, that supplies most of the food consumed by the world population the term food industry covers a series of industrial activities which directed from right from agriculture cultivation processing preservation since packaging and everything so food production is not limited today with only what we eat in the restaurants or in the hotels food production has gone beyond that people are also talking about super food fine food which is you know energy in small packets so food production has taken a further step by creating opportunities in processing industry by creating opportunities in preservation industry and also creating opportunities in supply chain management because in supply chain management you also require a food technician and you also require a trained professional uh, food production uh, person or a chef who understands the perishability who understands the chemical and uh, nutrient properties of any particular ingredient food production is further classified into different types including uh, you know your uh, fermentation techniques pasteurizing techniques then you have butchering then you have uh, restaurants fusion and many more so in this slide i have tried to cover as many as possible career uh, paths which you all can take up if you want to be a production person so you can have jobs as a chef or as a cook in hotels which get you up to the executive chef pastry chef you can write a book you can be a author because to be a author or to write a cookbook you not only need to be a good writer you also need to be a very good chef you can have your own uh, business be an uh, person who is a food critic okay so you can do taste thing you can do uh, r&d you can have your own uh, your cake shops you can have your catering business which is into bulk production like marriages uh, outdoor caterings corporate caterings and many more you can be a food technologist okay a food technologist is a person who helps in preservation and commercial production of preserved convenience products you can <coughs> media career where you write about food blogs <coughs> then you also help in getting good reviews for the restaurants you do food photography you do styling so you can be a food photographer and food stylist you can have your career in cruise lines you can have your career in airlines uh you can be a uh, Uh, have your own food wholesale commercial supply chain management you can also have a career into r&d a research and development uh, cell which is usually a setup behind the scene for most of the convenience uh, producing brands you take nestle you take suhana you take pravin you take uh, mother's recipe you take parampara you take maggi all these brands they have their r&d unit where they require chef you can also be a tv celebrity because they also have their back office where they have plenty chefs in creating recipes creating products for them you can be into tv shows where you have to be on route moving traveling completely because food tourism is a very big profit generating 
field under the tourism it's taking its place in india but it's also uh, it's already an established industry in europe and america and australia where people spend only to travel for the food in recently you must have heard a news in uh, london in uk where a person traveled approximately 180 to 200 km just to have a burger and he the rest the burger shop was closed and he was asked to pay a fine of 200 uh, pounds dollar okay that crazy people are for the food so these are the various ways or aspects where you can have your uh, flourishing careers but you need to be very focused you need to understand what you are good at and what you can create the best from your capacities and capabilities apart from this there are conventional uh, careers in food industry like you can be chefs you can uh, climb the ladder right from commie to director then you can have your careers in institutional industrial hospital transport and welfare catering uh in defense you can have your career after doing uh, hotel management and after taking career as a chef you can enter in the defense you can enter in the defense canteen you can enter in the hospital uh, catering you can enter in the industrial catering you can have your own food truck your own restaurants you can be a consultant for various uh, restaurants who do not have any professional background but they are running that restaurant because it's their ancestral business or it's their passion or because they wanted to do something else with their uh, funds available with them you can be a food quality manager in the processing industry or you can have your own transport catering anyone has any doubts till here then these are few unconventional uh, careers which i have already spoken about like food blogger critic food writer food traveler food show comparer then the research and development team and many more what are the requirements to be a chef anyone who aspires to be a chef they need to have a high level of personal hygiene standards maintained for themselves and the very important thing is that they should enjoy cooking because cooking is an extremely physically stressed and high level hard working task you cannot do it at ease you cannot do it in air conditioned environment always you should be always able to stand in front of high heat for long hours on your feet without complaining your feet hurting you should know correct time management otherwise you will not be able to serve the food which you are preparing in appropriate time you need to have good interpersonal communication skills you need to know how to manage your customers how to attract customers and how to maintain them you should be very accommodating because food production as a team involves a lot of people from a lot of sectors of hospitality from a lot of uh, levels of society different communities uh, different backgrounds so you should be able to accommodate as a leader also and as a team member also stress food production uh, is a department who, which is working continuously under stress for one or the other reason either you are working under stress for the limited time you are working under stress for your budgets you are working under stress for the uh, flow of the customers and the food supply or the restrictions or seasonal availabilities or you don't get ingredients in time there is a transportation problem there is a seasonal calamity problem or something or other so you should be able to manage your stress but yet you should be able to deliver absolutely beyond the expectations 
the essential traits for catering careers are you need to uh, develop good cooking skills you need to know multitasking because when you are cooking you are doing many things simultaneously there are plenty types of planning happening in your head you are also trying to manage uh, different cooking methods at one go you are frying something you are baking something simultaneously you are cutting something simultaneously you are plating something you need to have eye for detail because your food should not carry any foreign ingredient when a person is paying rupees 200 or 400 for any product they cannot accommodate a single uh, complain or a single dirt in their food you should practice practice and practice till you reach the perfection it's a hard working job you should be always ready to sweat like a pig yet be happy you should be a good team worker it's in creative and innovative field that's why culinary is considered an art more than a science so you should be able to put your creative thoughts on plate with appropriate uh, edible um, characters what do you think should be edible what do you imagine should be edible so you you should have high level of creativity and innovation you all have seen these uh, shows on netflix on amazon on many other uh, media channels they all are very popular shows but behind the scene everybody is working very very hard master uh, master chef australia if you are a regular viewer of master chef australia see what you see is actually a 1/10th part of what they actually perform so every fame or every uh, publicity what you get as a chef comes with lot of hard work lot of patience and a um, lot of skills which are developed through your experience this is the team of aissms i myself uh, am the hod for food production then we have chef arun sherkar chef uh, chef himraj patel chef kiran shende chef pritish sinhal and now recently uh, we have chef arun devkar these all are bakery specialty chefs as a faculty we have then we have chef sundar shrinivasan chef reena do different uh, work is different level work i'm who's am i audible to all of you yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am ma uh where did it stop the introduction ma'am the faculty introduction of faculty could you hear yes ma'am not the whole ha half of it half of it. okay from behind the the person uh, from the behind where you can see the cursor on is the screen visible no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am no, i can't share the screen
सारे घर पे आना जाने मोहम्मद भाई है क्या बोलता हूँ कोऑपरेटिव है वैसा वो क्या हो गया इसको गौरीशा डॉक्टर की डिग्री लगती तुमको फिर इन लोग डॉक्टर कैसे गए प्लीज म्यूट योरसेल्फ Can you see? Uh, you are the host now. Yeah. Can you all see the screen? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes,
good morning students just give us a couple of minutes sorry for the internet connectivity today as i said is patchy so give us a couple of minutes for the next session to start till then you can take a bio break Suraj Kangode please mute yourself Good morning, students. I hope this slide is visible to all of you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Should I? Well, good morning, students, and welcome to ASSMS College of Hotel Management. Indeed, a great choice. Congratulations to all of you. Well, to begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Rajeshri Sharangarpur. 
and I am heading the department food and beverage service. I've been associated with this college since 2002, and I'm very happy to be a part of this professional institute. Uh, well, prior to this, I worked with international hotel chains like Marriott in Mumbai and Holiday Inn in Pune at senior positions and areas like bar operations, specialty restaurant, room service, banquets. Also, I have done WSET uh, wine certification program, and now I'm pursuing my PhD. I have a great team with me taking care of this department. So let me also introduce you all to them. Ms. Prachi Wani, she's worked with hotels like Taj Lands and Mumbai, and she holds extensive banquet sales experience. She's also an alumni of this college and pursuing her PhD from Pune University. Next on the team, we have Mr. Suraj Mashalkar. He has worked with hotels like Marriott's in bar operations, especially. He's an alumni of this college and also a topper of uh, his batch. He holds also the wine certification uh, uh, program certificate and is pursuing his PhD from Pune University. In my team, I also have Ms. Mohini. She is a topper of her batch also, and she holds great experience. She has worked in uh, restaurants in New Zealand, and uh, she has also done the wine certification program. Next, Mr. Sumit Dua. He's worked in restaurants in London. He's also an alumni of this college and uh, he is an expert in restaurant service. Miss Sapna, she's worked in hotels like Pride and Harde Hotel in Nagpur. And uh, she has experience in areas like room service. And ma'am is also a part of training placement cell of our college now. Miss Sheetal, she's worked in hotels like uh, Dubai Malia. Uh, banquets, Sheraton, Bangalore and Pune, Holiday in Pune in banquet sales. And uh, ma'am also has few years of experience with the Mania Airways. Uh, we also have a new team member with us now, Mr. Yogendra. He is the new faculty in our team and has worked with hotels like Waldorf Hilton London, Holiday in Bristol, and uh, he's also, he was also assistant manager at Domino's India. So that is my team. I hope you all can see the slide. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, so let's start with food and beverage service department. What is food and beverage service department? Well, FNB service is a service of food which is made in kitchens and drinks which are prepared in bar to customers at you know various food and beverage premises, various areas. So FNB service is a essential link between customers and the menu or the beverages which are on offer by the organization. Food and beverage service department is responsible not only for service, but also for food costing, managing the restaurant, managing the bars, etc. Classification of the food and beverage industry. Well, the food and beverage industry is classified majorly in two categories. The first is profit oriented, or we can call it as commercial sector. And the second is a welfare sector or a cost provision. When we have a commercial sector, it usually operates to make profit or to earn adequate return on investment through their services. So examples are like hotels, popular catering, fast food, retail stores, banqueting, exhibitions, clubs, transport catering, pubs, outdoor catering, etc. When we have welfare catering, 
so the catering of food and beverage is usually done in schools university colleges hospitals prisons etc so these are the two main categories of the fnb industry if you want to be successful in fnb service department what you have to do first of all you have to take care of your personal hygiene you should be well groomed every time you need to be punctual you need to be honest good product knowledge is required so you need to have good knowledge about food beverages wines liqueurs cocktails etc you should also have well developed interpersonal skills because you'll be interacting with so many different customers range of technical skills are also required when you're working in fnb operations you need to have the ability to work as a part of team those who are committed to hospitality industry and want to work in fnb service a fulfilling exciting and enjoyable career awaits some other benefits if you are a part of fnb service well the fnb service professionals they work in air condition and hygienic environment they are also provided with duty meals and sometimes accommodations if you're working in fine dining and banquet you get good earnings there are opportunities to serve sometimes celebrities and famous personalities in fnb service department the overall personality of the staff also improves dramatically makes them confident as they are continuously interacting with various people good and talented fnb service staff is also picked up for higher positions so these are benefits if you are a part of fnb service department avenues or uh, you know what opportunities you will get when you are part of fnb service department well the fnb industry offers very good job opportunities globally at all levels you can work in restaurants there are different types of restaurants you can work in fine dining restaurant you can work in a casual atmosphere coffee shop you can work in a bistro which is also casual dining you can work in a specialty restaurant you can be a part of a fast food or quick service restaurant that is qsr you can become a bartender and work in bars you can work in room service or banquets which are special services of a hotel or you can also work in airline cruise line or railway catering now let me show you some pictures of our uh, restaurants our training restaurants in college and also what are the events which we have conducted in our college so to start with this is the 2015 this is our first training restaurant this is a picture of our second training restaurant we call it as vintage this restaurant also has a mock bar arrangement this is our third restaurant we call it as signature we also use this place for banqueting uh, conference or meetings or uh, presentations so we have these three areas and vintage and 2015 also have bar uh, a mock bar arrangement in our department we organize various events so that the students can learn uh, you know about fnb department so we usually conduct uh, workshops like mixology flareology camp this is a picture of that wherein the students uh, attended a session and molecular mixology uh, workshop it was she is miss amy shroff she is a celebrity bartender she had also given a guest lecture in our college especially for upcoming bartenders this is a molecular mixology workshop attended by some students and faculties in mumbai as per syllabus we also organize theme lunches and formal lunches in college so these are senior students serving the dignitaries and the guests in restaurant
mocktail festivals done by second year students. These are pictures of Gerido practicals and bartending practicals. So in our department, we have uh, various events and the practical pictures also you have seen. We actually have uh, classic cocktail demonstrations, mocktail demonstration, classic Gerido preparations done in our restaurants wherein students get good experience. In our next slide, I would like to show you some of our students' achievements at various levels. Well, these all are, al are alumni and they all are FNB professionals. First picture is of Mr. Rohan Rege. Well, Mr. Rohan Rege is heading the bar operations in Ritz Carlton, Pune right now. The next picture is of Ms. Kushnas Ragina. She is head of operations DIGO. These both students are uh, celebrity bartenders. Next picture is of Mr. Tushar Patil. Well, Mr. Tushar Patil is a sake sommelier and he's the only one sake sommelier uh, in India, certified one. He's working now in Maldives. Next picture is of Mr. Linard Limay. He is working as a director banquets at Conrad Pune. Mr. Sushant Rege is working as Director of FNB Service in Marriott, Singapore. So you can see uh, students in FNB Service really doing well and working at great positions. Well, now I would like to share with you all one video which is done by our students about wine service. Uh, well, students, due to some technical issues, I won't be able to share the video with you all. But I promise I will share these videos with you all once you are here in college. So uh, in case you have any questions for me, uh, I'll be glad to answer. So any questions for me, students, you can uh, type it in the chat box or you can ask me. Mm 
well as there are no questions so that's all from my side so welcome once again to all of you enjoy your time in ISSMS College of Hotel Management stay safe stay healthy okay thank you so much thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am ma You've not shut. You've left the meeting. No, right. I didn't. It's there on top. Huh. How's Abma doing? She's uh, not getting time to do TPC. Not you. Not you. Kiran for events. Anu for the walk and uh, admissions and admission. बिल्कुल एफ एन बी का तो मैं उस नाम भी नहीं ले रहा हूँ बिकॉज है Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Can one of you confirm if you can hear me? Yes, yes, sir. Can hear you. Yes, sir. We can. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, so we can hear you clearly. I need one of you to unmute yourself and tell me, please. As I said, today we are facing a issue with yes, internet. Sir. Yes, sir. We can hear can you. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right. So can't one of you unmute yourself? All right. I can't hear sir, you. Yes, yeah, we I can hear you, sir. I don't know why. Yes, sir. Sir, so you are audible. Okay, you all have unmuted, but I can't hear you all. I don't know why such funny things are happening today. But um, yeah. Okay, since I'm audible, I'm going to talk, and then maybe we can just uh, type uh, questions. I can't hear you today, but let's in the next fifteen twenty minutes try and uh, uh, yeah. So let me just. Uh, All right. So I wanted to introduce you to the training and placement. Uh, for all the four years that you spend here, for them to be more effective and for it to be really meaningful, you have to face the real world, right? You cannot just be in your theoretical knowledge or in the laboratory or the labs or the restaurants or kitchens in the college. You have to face the world. So uh, this is where training and placement comes into picture. Uh, we are located on the second floor of the new building. We have a nice office where students are always welcome. We would like to believe that we are very, very accessible. And that shows from the number of students who keep dropping by at training and placement to um, just say hi or just tell us what they want or share with us what they are doing. Uh, if you want part-time jobs or if you have any other thoughts, uh, we have a training and placement committee also of students, uh, mostly final years, uh, who help us with campus interviews because we have a lot of campus. And when you're in your final year, you'll see a lot of campus, uh, a lot of companies coming over to our campus. All right, so let me go step by step. Uh, in the first year now, uh, unfortunately, I won't be interacting too much with you all uh, officially or formally because I'm not teaching you all. However, uh, I would love to just come 
over to your classroom and just uh, address you all and uh, likewise you're most welcome to drop by at training and placement and uh, have a chat yeah so uh, we encourage you all to do odcs and part time jobs now it's too early now in the day to say that but i'm just introducing you to the fact because uh, currently we are still under corona you know uh, covid pandemic it's not completely gone the great news is vaccinations are on hotels are picking up occupancies but it's still slow recovery so by the time you are you are through with your first year which is going to be hectic because you're going to have back to back two semesters uh, by the time you're finished with that you will be ready in the second year to then uh, look at part time jobs or do odcs what is odc it is outdoor catering so what happens is uh, is these five star hotels uh, request us uh, to give students for their events it could be a corporate event it could be a conference it could be a convention it could be a wedding it could be a big sports event or a match at uh, sahara stadium so many things so we have a faculty in fnb uh, registry just mentioned uh, mr sumit dua sumit is uh, our single point contact for odcs for uh, from the students and the hotel point of view yeah so hotels contact us uh, either training and placement or sumit but even if they contact us we forward everything to sumit who in turn uh, asks for names for odcs now outdoor caterings or odcs means you have to report in uniform white and black formals that we give you and then you have to you have to report to the hotel uh, go from the time office for staff and do your 8 to 9 hours of duty it's usually a banquet function as i said and then you get to learn so many things you get to see real guests you get to interact with some guests you learn setups you learn service you learn pickups you learn the physical hard work also and you also get paid for it you know so it adds to your pocket money and exposure and you get a meal on um, in the staff cafeteria on duty so this is the benefit of odcs and i would request or urge all of you to do as many outdoor caterings as possible you also get to see the hotel all right the i don't know how many of you have seen the beautiful ritz carlton in pune the latest hotel that came in last year it's a luxury hotel and uh, i urge each one of you to see it it's really beautiful and now it's it's one of the additions to the already nice hotels that we have in pune all right so uh, so if you're doing an odc at ritz carlton you get to see ritz carlton also right you get to experience different kinds of food you get to see different uh, setups different buffet displays and generally get more confident because of your exposure and contact with guests yeah so uh, yes kalyani is writing it's a very interesting hotel i agree it's a beautiful uh, lobby and public spaces and they have really done up um, everything very very luxuriously it has a hint of pune and it has a hint of uh, the victorian times you know in the interiors all right so that's odcs then part time jobs again there are so many students who uh, don't want to just do college and home but would like to do part time jobs so we have some restaurants that we have a tie up with or we are uh, we may not have an official tie up but they have great uh, relations with our college and we have great uh, contacts with them and they encourage students to come and work with them all right it could be after college hours or it could be friday saturday sunday weekend model whatever model works it adds to your experience it looks good on your cv it adds to your exposure confidence learning and you get to meet real guests all right you also get some money of course you get a little stipend or salary depending on the hours you work so all these things add to your personality please remember uh, and make you even better than you than uh, than you would be all right so uh, training and placement helps you with all this 
then you have in the fifth semester as um, arun said that day in the academics uh, presentation you have a formal uh, industrial training semester so the entire semester you have to be out there in one hotel and work in all core departments at least so there again we start one semester in advance so if you are supposed to go in the fifth semester at the beginning of fourth semester uh, we invite you the training and placement uh, schedules uh, 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 orientation for you so we invite you and your parents again to uh, the seminar hall and we tell you what this is all about what is industrial training what are the do's and don'ts what is expected of you what should you be doing how do we go about there again we give you a choice whether you want to do it in india domestic or you want to go abroad internationally all right so there again there are exciting options doing in india has its advantages and disadvantages similarly doing abroad has its advantages and disadvantages or pros and cons as we say so i will give you the pitch, clear picture of both the sides of the coin and then you can take an informed decision all right but it's interesting whatever you decide you will have a great industrial training exposure because we uh, try to send you or uh, for interviews to really good hotel chains all right so that you get to see the real thing because if it's a big hotel chain that your know, that exposure is much more because they have those many more rooms those many more restaurants those many more banqueting facilities though, that much equipment cutlery crockery ingredients everything matters then the work culture is different so everything is different but having said that in smaller hotels also you get to learn a lot because you're given a lot of responsibility in big hotels sometimes you become just one of the many trainees or you become a small fry in a big pond but sometimes in a smaller hotel you get so much responsibility that it teaches you much more than a huge hotel similarly for abroad international internships we have uh, uh, tie ups with agents or partners as we call them they are genuine partners who won't fleece you of your money but we just do the introduction part after that it's between you and the partner or agent but we they also try to place you in good branded hotels we consistently every semester send students to france mauritius maldives seychelles thailand malaysia uh, usa uh, again it depends on the visa changes now with trump gone and biden taking over again there are going to be changes in the visa process uh, in the norms post covid again we don't know how the world is going to react of course by the time you reach you finish your second year the world would have been uh completely normal hopefully so uh that we'll come to that bridge when we will cross that bridge when we come there and then of course final placements again in your final year at the beginning of the year i invite you and your parents for a chat and we uh, tell them what the year is going to pan out or how it's going to pan out so we tell them how we are going to go about placements how we are going to have campus interviews the committee that students form we approach a lot of companies a lot of companies approach us and whoever wants a job we help you with it if you want to do further education we counsel you we guide you i have done my mba also and my phd so and i have a couple of degrees and few diplomas so i can also give my a little bit of advice and my point of view of course Uh, similarly uh, we uh, help you with letter of recommendations and all for universities abroad if you want to apply and whatever you choose we are there to help you once you are our students and once even after you pass out you remain our alumni forever so it's not that you're done with the course and goodbye and that's it you know you remain uh, a part of us part of college forever so please remember that that we are there to help you hand hold you initially of course and even later in life help you uh, even if you get through a job or lose a job later or you want to start something of your own and you approach us for help uh, or uh, even getting trainees or students we are there to guide you uh, during the course also uh, as i said 
before your industrial training interview start we help you with your cv how to write your cv how to make it error free and correct we help you with group discussions uh, practice and personal interview practice so we prepare you for all this even in your final year we take sessions specially for final year students and uh, take you through rounds of group discussion practices uh, practice sessions of group discussions and personal interviews the respective hod's and your faculty help you brush up your basics or technicals you cannot forget what you learned in the first year for your in your final year all right you need to know all that at least your basics you know it's a professional course a doctor cannot say that i learned this in my first year mbbs and now i have forgotten it yeah similarly you all have to remember your basics and brush them up continuously so this is what primarily i wanted to share in terms of uh, training and placement you already know that we have uh, 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 my name is dr samir divanji i head the team i have with me uh, chavi sahai and sapna sangode Uh, we uh, three together we form the training and placement team i repeat we are on the second floor of the new building and uh, you're most welcome to walk in and have a chat or discussion on your careers on the way forward i can tell you about our alumni who are doing so well you can come here and see the hotel chains charts that we have made you can ask us any doubts that you may have as i said if you want part time jobs we can try to connect you with uh, restaurants in your area or near the college where it's convenient for you to work after college or on weekends similarly anything that you uh, that you want in terms of exposure i have students coming up to me and saying that this famous iconic hotel in mumbai or restaurant in mumbai can you connect make a connect with them so uh, and for internship summer training it's not in the syllabus that but they want to do over and above that so if it's a, a bombay canteen or a masala library or mask or any of these uh, super uh, uh, super uh, conceptual and upcoming and uh, very well written about restaurants in mumbai all right the one who their movers and shakers really so we can actually approach them and try to connect for you so whatever we say we try to uh, do it to the best of our ability in the final year uh, the the placement season starts right from september or even august sometimes when overoys comes to our campus and we start with the placements so you already have job offers uh, before by this time by january half of the people who want jobs already have job offers all right so it won't happen that you want a job and you won't get a job for sure you may not get it exactly in the hotel chain that you want but we'll ensure you will get some job somewhere if not a couple of jobs all right that i can guarantee you so you don't have to worry about that but my only urge and advice and request is do your college have a lot of fun but do it sincerely also even attending sessions is a lot of fun remember and um, once you do it well your basics are great your attitude is great and every hotel chain will why to take you you know they will want to offer you a job so remember that and uh, this is uh, uh, in a nutshell what we do of course there are a lot of other activities right from um, quiz during atithya or a college magazine college casserole or many other things but as i said or industry visits or guest lectures lot of that we help the entire college and all other departments for it also but for now it's good to know uh, for you that uh, odcs or part time jobs or your third year industrial training placement in india and abroad and your final placements all this is the the big ticket items that training and placement takes care of all right i'm going to now uh, throw the floor open for questions if any as i said uh, unfortunately we cannot uh, see uh, i cannot hear the hear you all surprisingly 
but if you have any questions i'd be happy to answer so you'll have to type them in the chat chat messages if not tomorrow again we are meeting and uh, after the guest lecture you have uh, again the training and placement team coming and we can talk um one uh, odc is a one day service yes it's a one day as i said it's a 8 to 9 hour shift that you are expected to do what happens parth is um hotels have their staffing of course but one day when they have so many functions they can't suddenly hire for one day so that's when uh, college students come into the uh, picture and they ask for help so i need 10 uh, students for odc i need five students for odc there are some uh, most of the odcs are for service but there are a few kitchen odcs also uh, uh, for for the five star hotels but yeah, but yes it's a one day thing all right uh somebody else asked um, when can we start our part time jobs i as i said first let's get out started with this course uh this year is going to be challenging because you should have started in august remember and your first semester is starting now so let's uh, wait uh for that to uh, unfold you're not going to have too many breaks and you're going to have a lot of work to catch up so let your uniforms come let let's know the basics of the four departments and then we will start getting into jobs and uh, odcs so odcs also won't stop immediate start immediately the ones that are already started we are sending your seniors not first years because you will be too lost currently all right we they need people with some exposure some uh, and uniform all that uh, there is only one internship mohit um, uh, in the in the third year as i said fifth semester and then sixth seventh eighth are specialization semesters here but that one internship is 20 weeks but if you are interested you can do part time jobs you can do summer training uh, after you know, in between your breaks uh, you know you don't have to wait for internships i can get you through a summer internship uh, for one month etc uh, internship is paid not prepaid it's not an auto rickshaw uh, that it's prepaid it is paid atharva uh, but the stipends are really low the main focus should be learning college will let you know when it's starting when do online sessions end when do offline begin so uh, it's good to be curious uh, just let's wait yes semesters would be back to back because next year we don't want them to want you to be affected in your next year Uh, so hopefully we would have uh, pune university guidelines soon where we'll tell you that okay from january to may or april will be your first semester then may to august will be your second i'm just giving you my uh, guess work you know don't take it but hopefully all this should happen and um, by august or september you should start your second year in time so that you, you know we catch up on the backlog everything is going to be offline eventually arshad first we don't know let's be patient let's see how covid pandemic ends how the vaccine is successful what does the state government decide so read the newspapers read what pune university is saying and we'll let you know also any other questions purvaja the syllabus will be covered we will not reduce it for sure uh, as of now but if they tell us to take only 80% we will cover that in the remaining 20% in the next sem if not on next year if not we will definitely let you know uh, what is happening but i don't think we'll really because as is a professional course we can't reduce too much because you need to what you need to know is you need to know please be patient we'll let you know about books we'll let you know about uniforms we'll let you know all that yeah there are practicals of course but last semester the entire practicals didn't happen uh, we are awaiting pune university uh, instructions prana for the next uh, uh, notice on practicals so you have practicals in first year on in syllabus or on paper as we say 
but how and when we are going to physically conduct it we'll have to wait and watch did i miss any questions you can tell me if i missed any questions we'll let you know when college is starting but after the your induction and after 26th january i think 27th we'll start but i'll tell you how and what yeah recorded sessions we'll let you know how uh, how you will arsh we'll let you know about recorded sessions we'll post the link on your uh, official group all right so you will get to know what you've missed already and even when you join here you will uh, know arshad you have so many questions already <laughs> uh, you can know your syllabus on the pune website pune university website please go to sppu and do your little homework manish uh, books for we we'll let you know we'll give you some books and we'll recommend some books come and see our library you will come to know what you need to uh by or issue but you will get your basic books for all four core subjects as a part of the kit all right manish any other questions you can ask anything that you want related to what we spoke about also yes you will also get your kitchen toolkit yeah college timing pages as i said on the first day we let you know typically it's 8 to 4 but we also have another uh, little batch that comes um, by 9:30 and waits back till 5:30 so one of the two all right uh 8 to 4 or maybe 10 to 6 or 9:30 to 5:30 or something but we'll let you know all that we have to plan this is a very challenging year uh, for all of us it's unprecedented we don't know uh, we have never seen all this so there's a lot of there a lot of logistic issues for us and challenges for us which we will all uh, take care of don't worry I don't think you can choose. I'm not sure if there are going to be two batches. I'm not sure you're going to choose. We'll give you uh, as per your uh, class. You'll have to do that. Yeah. I don't think you'll have a choice. It's hardly two batches means it's hardly one one and a half a difference in both. So I don't think you should worry about that. Yes, Kalyani. yes so i think you're uh, done with most of the questions if there are any we'll ask tomorrow i'm going to invite your coordinators also to uh, join uh, and uh, be uh, unmute and uh, uh, switch on their video tomorrow so that you can also see them and ask them questions all right and um, yes so now i want to just tell you tomorrow we are starting at 9:30 all right please note we are starting at 9:30 and i want all of you to log on by 9:25 because we have a wonderful professional from the industry that we have invited ms arti naik arti uh, naik is um, uh, a part of hyat she is the training manager at hyat pune so it's a five star hotel for those who don't know so she is here tomorrow online for you Uh, only to address you on our invitation all right so tomorrow 9:30 uh, sharp we will uh, start the session with the guest lecture uh, by rt naik from hyat uh, hotel and then we will have uh, the uh, floor open for questions for either of us and your coordinators we will ask for your feedback and then we'll conclude generally all right so this is what tomorrow looks like 
you will get the details uh, for microsoft uh, we'll keep posting on your groups guys don't worry we are there to handhold you we will um, great so we uh, i'm glad to see that you'll be on time tomorrow uh, so you'll get your microsoft login details don't worry we'll let you know about uh, every little thing when is your lectures when are your lectures starting what will be the online timings when does the government allow us to go offline all that will keep you posted don't worry all right so let's take one step at a time we are there to help you we are there to handhold you initially and you all are um, adults i assume uh, or 18 plus most of you i'm sure if not in a few months maybe some of you so let's start behaving like uh, mature people grown up people also and uh, we are there of course we all are there to support and help you yeah great so thank you for your patience and i i'm sorry once again today for the uh, for the technical glitch as we call it internet uh, we uh, would uh, i'm hoping and praying that tomorrow you will um, uh, the internet will be smooth and you will get to uh, see arti naik and hear her and ask her questions and enjoy the session tomorrow as well like you've been sending me messages about all the four days that you've enjoyed the sessions uh, thank you and i hope to see you soon in person and interact with all of you and uh, yes interact with you over the next four years yeah for your training odcs part time jobs final placements any help that you want for your cv group discussions interviews uh english if you just want to have a little chat or counseling or if you want advice anything the training and placement is uh, has an open door for you yeah great thank you and have a wonderful day ahead all of you